Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys the proper way to don and doff PPE. And this is especially important because I'm seeing a lot of you biomeds out there not doing this correctly, and you're possibly contaminating other people, including you, me, anybody else, other patients, who knows? So here's the proper way to do this. Now I'm gonna do this with a mask because this is how we are in hospitals right now. We're all wearing masks. So you're gonna start out, you're gonna need a gown, okay? Here's one unwrapped already, but it comes in a pack like this, and you're gonna find this on the patient door or near the patient door, along with obviously your precaution sign, which is gonna be droplet COVID-19 precautions. You're gonna need a more proper mask, an N95 mask. So I've got one of those. If you're going to go in a COVID room, you need some sort of eye protection. Usually it's a face shield, but if this is all you got, then you're going to wear it. I myself, when I go into those rooms, I wear headgear, just like I do when I'm in surgery. You're going to need at least two pairs of gloves. The reason I say two pairs of gloves is because once you go in and you start donning this gear, you're going to want to have at least two pairs in case you break a set. You don't want to have to be fumbling around because you could make holes in your gown. So, two sets of gloves. You're going to need sani wipes. You're probably going to find them around the patient room or in the surgical ward. Sani wipes is in case you get something on you. You got to get it off first before you get your gear off. The very first thing that you're going to do when you get near a COVID ward is you're going to sanitize your hands, all right? I hope you guys know how to sanitize your hands. You're going to start with the palms, move to the backs of the hands, do the fingertips, and keep rubbing until it dries out. You might stand there for 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Got to do this first. It's all, all sorts of stuff that you could have picked up on the way to the patient room. We're just going to make sure that we get it all off our hands and clean. Now we're ready to start the next step, the gown. Now this is a disposable gown. Most of them are nowadays. And on this one here, it ties behind you. So with this type of gown, Put the head in first. There's two sleevelets. And notice there's a thumb hole. We'll get to that in a moment. I'll put my gown on all the way. You got two tails. I'll put them around me in the front and I'll tie it up just like so. All right, now that I got that on, I'm going to go ahead and put my thumbs in the thumb holes. <clears throat> the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the proper mask, the N95 mask. So I take my hospital mask and I tuck it into my shirt. Now other masks, the ones that go behind your ears, you know, with the elastic bands, you might just take those off, you know, and set it aside. Don't take that into the patient room if you don't need to. But this mask here, I tuck into my shirt, so it's definitely safe. It's down in there. <clears throat> the reason I do that is because you're often in some of those words that are kind of questionable, and I want to re-mask as, as, as soon as I can. As soon as I get out of the patient room, as soon as I clean up and whatnot, I want to apply my other proper mask. After you have your mask tucked away, nice and safe, that's when you're going to grab your N95 and there's going to be a metal strap up near the top. That strap is going to be what forms the mask to your face and, and gets a tight seal. And as you can see, I have some stubble. So I wear this uh, duckbill style fa uh, face mask and it applies a much tighter seal. Now I keep my facial hair very short. Often I shave it, especially if I know I'm going to be doing PMs or something in and around the COVID warms. I shave my face. But because right now I'm not going to be around them, I do it this way. 
So what you're going to do <clears throat> is you're going to start out with your mask cupped in your hand like this. Okay. So I've got the metal strap up here by my, my fingers. You take it and you place it over your face. So it's got a good fit. And you take the top strap and you put it around the crest of the back of your head. Okay, like that. And then you take the next strap, the one below it, and you place it down around the base of the neck, down below the hairline. And then your mask is on. Now you're going to start at the crest of the nose and you're gonna bend the metal strip to shape it to your face. Now, as I said, this type of mask right here, this one's got a pretty good seal. But what you wanna do, when the mask is on, you wanna breathe in and out pretty heavily. And see if you got any air leaking out. You'll feel it trickle out, especially up here towards your eyeballs. So make sure that you readjust your mask before you proceed. So I definitely have nothing leaking out down around here. This is a very tight fitting mask down here. I usually have problems right here around the nose. So I'll have to adjust it a few times before I proceed with the next part, which is putting on the eyewear and the gloves. So after your mask is good, now you're gonna fit your eyewear. And normally it's a face shield. It's got a foam strip and elastic band and a clear plastic front. But all I have are eye, eye goggles, so that's what I'm going to use. Now the next step that you're going to do is you're going to take your, your gloves. Make sure you don't tear your gown. And you're going to fit your glove up and over the sleeve. Make sure there's no skin showing. Do the same with the other hand. Make sure you use a large enough size glove that you're not putting stress on the sleeve to tear it. And that is me ready to enter into a COVID ward. Now when you go to exit a COVID room, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you don't have any uh, blood or anything on your gloves or anything. And if you do, Find some wipes around the room, and you're going to go ahead and sanitize your hands to remove any large amounts of particles that are on you. If it's blood, if it's goo juice, you don't know what it is, use a wipe and get a majority of it off. All right? Then, find a hand sanitizer around the exit of the room. And put some on your gloves. Same thing as if it was bare skin. Because what you're doing is you're killing anything that's on your gloves. Before you get ready to take your PPE off. So it's almost the inverse to take off your PPB. Which is doffing. So what you're going to do. The first thing. Once you exit out of the room. There's usually a uh, an area where it's not clean and it's not dirty. Okay. It's an intermediate area where you got a, a sink, you got a trash can, you usually have hand sanitizer in there. That's going to be the space where you're going to take off the gown and the gloves, okay? So when you get into those areas, these, these gowns right here are kind of easy because they have this belt that you tied around the front. So what I do is I break it. I grab it so I roll it forward, leave the gloves out here, and do not touch around your face. Once you go in the room, you don't touch around your face until you are completely ready to be done. So I take it off like this, keep the gloves on the bottom and the inside, just kind of roll it up. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so once you have it all in a ball, 
You're going to go ahead and throw it in the trash. Then the first thing that you are going to do is hand sanitize. Okay? Do not touch anything else until you sanitize, all right? Now, once you got all that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eyewear off, okay? So I'm going to touch back here to the sides for these. I'm going to place those down. I'm going to deal with those in just a moment, all right? The next thing I'm going to take off for me would be my, my cap. Mind you, the mask, I'm not touching anything over here, especially near my eyes. So you take off your cap, throw it away. Now if I'm using my goggles, I'm going to put on some, some gloves. And I'm going to wipe down my goggles. All right. Even though there might not be anything on them, you got to wipe them down. Mind you, I haven't taken off my mask yet. So normally this is right near the door to go into the COVID patient's room or it's right outside the door. There's a, a place where you can get a mask and you turn your mask in. It's where there's also wipes. So that's where I'm going to wipe down my mask or wipe down my uh, goggles, throw it away. Throw my gloves away. Sanitize again. I know, it seems repetitious, right? This is how repetitious it is when you're dealing with COVID. Thing is, you get kind of good at it if you do it enough. So the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my mask from the back straps. Notice I'm not touching the front of the mask. I'm touching the rear elastic straps. And from here is where you're either going to throw your mask away or you're going to put it in a reprocessing tray where it's going to go and get bioquilled or whatever. Mind you, I'm not touching the mask. I'm going to place it in the tray. You guessed it, guys. Once you got through touching that, <clears throat> Now I'm going to re-sanitize, I'm going to take my mask because these are surgical masks and this is what I usually wear when I go to work because it's got an adhesive here that sticks really well to my nose, gives me a really good adhesion. So this goes back on, I'm going to adjust it real quick, I'll take my eyewear, stick them back in my tool bag and I'm going to go on my way. Guys, that is the proper way to don and doff PPE. So I know there's a, a little bit here and there that you might change, but that's the general process. The most important thing is the hand sanitizer between every stage and don't touch your face, especially around the eyes. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a very good day.